Hey guys, it's Jason here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to another video. Today guys, we are going to check out the HBI Savage Flux XS. This is a truck that I've been interested in for a while. Um, disclaimer, this is not my truck. It was a friend of mine it was actually at a hobby shop that's fairly close to us. He went in, he saw it, he thought, hey, I'm going to grab this. And we were kind of chit-chatting. He was like, oh yeah, I picked this up today. And I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, I've always been sort of interested in the truck. And he's like, well, if you want to take it, check it out. Long story short, here it is. So what we're going to do, guys, is we're going to do the usual. We're going to do an unboxing, kind of, you know, go over the truck. I'll give you guys some, you know, details about it, some specs, take it outside, get some pics. And actually, he also said if I wanted to take it out for a quick little rip, I could do that too. Anyways, guys, let's get to the unboxing. When you get this truck out of the box, you can't help but smile. It's, you know, it's this cute little monster truck. It, you know, it's definitely not very big. Uh, as you can see, you know, even with just me holding, you know, holding on to it type thing. But it's kind of neat in the sense that it still sort of looks, you know, like a Savage. Um, you got your battery tray over here. And on this side, um, it sort of looks like a battery tray, but obviously it's where the motor is sitting. You've got... The HBI Flux 2S 3S system. I'm pretty sure this is just a rebranded hobby wing of some sort. It's got the same on off switch and all that kind of fun stuff. So I'm pretty sure that's all it is. So program cards and stuff like that will probably work on it. Uh, twin vertical plates. These ones are plastic. I don't know. That's all I know about them. You can probably buy aftermarket ones and all that kind of fun stuff. But again, this isn't a very heavy truck. So, you know, adding, I don't even know if you'll really need the aluminum plates. So you could probably just stick with the plastic. Uh, you got front and rear dog bones down here. You got aluminum hinge pin carriers. I don't know if I can get those on camera. See if I can do it better with the back. There you go. Um, I don't know about the servo. I can't see it right now. So I don't know if it's a standard size or slightly smaller. But guys, there it is. It's, um, that is a cool little truck. I'm, I'm kind of a little bit jealous. I've always, you know, I've, I've looked at these over the years and always been kind of interested in them. Um, I've just never kind of pulled the trigger on one. These tires, um, no, um, they don't feel good at all. You know, I've never really had good luck with my Savage tires and these definitely, they feel like they're kind of under foamed, if that makes any sense. Um, and they don't look like they're going to provide a ton of traction, but hey, they'll get you going. I did pull one tire off. There is a 12 millimeter hex under there. Unfortunately, I've already attached my 17 millimeter adapters to these belted 2.8 trenchers, but this might be an idea later on. He, I mean, again, Rick, he might be the one that uh, looks into it, but 
besides from the tires, guys, I'm I'm really impressed. It's a cool looking truck. Um, if you like Savages, if you've ever owned any Savages, you know that they're a good truck. My guess is this is going to be a great truck too. Um, what I want to do now though, guys, is if you've never seen this truck before, I'm going to grab a couple of trucks that I'm going to use for kind of size comparison that you probably have seen. So right beside the Savage now, I've got my Pro MT. And, you know, the Pro MT usually looks fairly small compared to everything else I've got. But besides the Savage XS, it definitely looks bigger. And then beside that, I've got the Traxxas Max. Both of these two here are 110 scales. Obviously, the Max is a larger 110 scale. But you can definitely see that the, you know, the XS is, is it's a little truck. And I mean, it's meant to be. It's XS. I'm assuming that means extra small. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a little guy. It's, um... I don't know what to say it's it's definitely a cool looking little truck you know i i see you know kind of you know if you had a you know a smaller ramp this would be the kind of fun truck that you know you could take out in front of your house you know jump it you know on the lawn over and over again and you know really be able to push your limits there i don't think you'd want to take it out off you know your big superman jumps the ones you know you take your bigger trucks off of i don't know how we, the truck would survive there but from you know, like I said, again, from running, you know, if you want to run this, you know, around your house type thing, this would be a good truck for that. Saying that, this truck, guys, is stupid fast. If you run the optional pinion, it's like 60 or 65 miles an hour out of this little guy with the 3S LiPo. So it's definitely going to be fast. You know what? Enough talking, guys. Let's get this truck out. And again, Rick did say I could drive this. So let's take it for a little bit. back and what can i say this little truck is a blast uh unfortunately the slipper backed off and that's why i had to stop running i could feel it while i was driving you know from the first time that i'd kind of gunned it to you know getting you know 30 30 seconds a couple of minutes into the run um you know i could feel that it just wasn't having that acceleration anymore so i sort of knew that it was the slipper and unfortunately it just backed off enough that it didn't even want to move after that I've had trucks before where that's been a problem and usually you just use a second nut. So you'll bring in that first nut, tighten it down, bring in a second nut behind that and you'll be good to go. This truck is a blast to drive. I feel like it's a little bit expensive. Again, at Canadian, it's about 475, 500. Um, but it really does perform. It's got gobs of power, like on 2S, I didn't even drive it on 2S, but I can imagine on 2S would be fun because 3S is just insane. You're never really able to gun the truck. It just, no matter how fast I was going when I would gun it, especially again in the beginning before the slipper started to back off, it just would go. Like it, it just constant power. I mean, this system, you know, it's probably around an 80 amp, 90 amp ESC. I couldn't find anything on it. Uh, the 4,000 kV motor, you know, this is the type of system that could drop into a 10 scale um, so to run it in a little, in a one twelfth scale four wheel drive is just crazy. This here is the actual truck that I've always been kind of interested in. I've looked at it many, many times. 
Uh, I just like the gunmetal. I like the green rims and all that stuff. It actually comes with different tires. I don't know if I can show you guys that. There we go. Got to bring you guys in there. Check that out. Um, so it's, you know, it, th this truck, I spent a little bit of time on eBay and just kind of searching. There's so many parts. There's still tons and tons of, of shops that have parts for them. There's still parts on eBay. There's, you know, um, HBI, let's face it, they're, they're still around. They still make a newer version now of this truck. Going to be a little bit more complicated to get parts because HPI is not as big as it used to be. But, um, yes, <laughs> if, you know, if you're out and about and you see this truck, um, you know, especially if it's, if it's on sale, if it's, you know, this version here, the white Raptor version is actually discontinued. So you might be able to find it for a lower price. If you can get this truck, you know, I would say for around the $400 mark or even a little bit less, um, you're getting a wicked truck. You're going to have something that, you know, you're going to be able to take outside of your house, use smaller jumps, smaller ramps, and really have a blast with it and kind of push it to the limits. You know, the fun thing about small trucks is, is that when you take it outside, especially if you're in front of your house, you don't have to take you know, the huge gigantic jump to still have fun with it. The little jump that you would use this off of, you know, if you were to take, let's say an X-Max off it, you'd just be bored. It wouldn't be doing anything. It, it, you wouldn't get much air. This little guy is just going to fly. Um, again, guys, 23S, 4,000 KV motor, comes RTR with the radio. You just got to add your batteries. It does come with a Dean's plug, but HBI has always been, has always come with Dean's, even a Savage XL. Um, Flux still comes with Dean's connectors. This thing, again, like I've already mentioned, if it comes up, if, if I see one right now that's, you know, a discounted price or I can find a one that's in amazing shape used, I'm going to grab it because I, I really do think that this truck, uh, you know, with a few little minor mods is going to be an absolute blast. And one of them is not going to be the ESC in the motor because those, as you can see, guys, in the video, this thing rips. Anyways, guys, this is a quick video. Um, again, I borrowed this truck off my buddy Rick and... You know, he was lucky enough or I was lucky enough for him to, you know, let me use it and let me take it for a run. The funny thing is in that video, when the slipper goes was about 45 seconds before he showed up. So unfortunately, because I had messaged him saying, hey, I'm going up to the top of the street. If you want to come check out your truck, you know, give her. And by the time he got there, unfortunately, I'd already kind of ruined it for him. So but anyways, guys, as always, thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and enjoy the pics.